the tutorial on resource management technique or otherwise called as operation research. Let us start. The resource management technique is otherwise called as operation research having two buzzwords like operations and research. Operation is nothing but the set of activities carried out in the organization and the research is the process of observing the activity and testing the activity based on some scientific method. So we will be getting a situation that means a real time situation and we will convert the situation into a problem statement and we can convert that problem statement into some mathematical model called model construction and we can validate that mathematical model using some algorithm and after completing that algorithm we can experiment that uh, problem and after experimenting the problem we will be getting a multiple solution and in that multiple solution we will be getting a best solution out of it. So operation research is a quantitative approach to decision making based on scientific method of problem solving. So we will be applying many scientific methods and based on the scientific method we will be getting a solution and based on the solution we will be getting an optimal solution. So we will see a lot of uh, problems later in the tutorial or later in this uh, classes. So there are two types of uh, models available in RMT or operation research. One is deterministic model and stochastic model. So deterministic models uh, deals with the known data or the certain data and stochastic models deals with the randomized data or the unknown, unknown data. So the value uh, that we got from a deterministic model will be an exact one. The stochastic model, the value which we will get from the stochastic model will be an approximate value. And say we can get the uh, probabilities uh, like that. So deterministic model deals with uh, five major concepts like linear programming, network optimization, integer programming, nonlinear programming and inventory models. The linear programming deals with the uh, process of maximizing the given profit or minimizing the given profit. We will be applying so many uh, algorithms or techniques like simplex method, two phase method and big M method and so many methods. Network optimization deals with the process of minimizing the number of uh, flow or the data flow in the network. Say we can use a Dijkstra's algorithm for shortest path uh, distance calculation and so on. Integer programming deals with process of getting the integer as a solution like uh, Gomori's cut is one example or cutting plane method is one example or branch and bound uh, integer programming is one example. So in unit 1 we will be focusing on uh, linear programming which deals with simplex method, two phase method and big M method. In network optimization it is uh, it's like a network model. So in our syllabus we will be having uh, shortest path algorithms like Floyd's algorithm and Dijkstra's algorithm. Integer programming which comes under the third unit like Gomori's cut, branch and bound algorithm and uh, multi-stage dynamic programming. So non-linear programming will be having Kuntaker condition and so many things. So we don't have uh, some, something called inventory models in our syllabus. So we are not going to consider this. Stochastic model I think we have uh, already studied in uh, probability and queuing theory. So the data will be uncertain data. So we are not going to consider this. So like I said uh, for deterministic model all the data are known with certainty and for stochastic model we doesn't know about the data. It is represented like at random uh, numbers. So the history of uh, OR it starts really on uh, 1930s. So it has been uh, followed by many uh, organization or uh, company to improve their profits. So you will see some of the major uh, contribution of the different persons for this operation research. So it has started uh, early 1990s in industrial engineering for this uh, Marco process is proposed by Marco and later uh, we will be seeing some on important concepts only. So 1950 Kuntaker condition for nonlinear programming was invented and many PERT and CPM model was proposed. So because of this PERT and CPM model uh, the cost of the budget or the cost of the project is reduced a lot and it is used in uh, 1940s in uh, World War II and then uh, game theory was proposed by John von Neumann. Then we have like uh, microcomputer in 1970 then uh, linear uh, 
programming was proposed by Karl Marker in 1980 and uh, based on all the package they have created a spreadsheet package in 1990s after that uh, we have like tora package uh, which was proposed by our author and so many things have been done in operation research so this subject is a very important subject so if you learn this subject you will be getting lot of uh, mathematical things and you can propose lot of uh, uh, problems and you can solve lot of things so we'll see what are all the steps involved in this operation research so the main goal of this thing is to solve a problem and to get a solution if we get a multiple solution you can select any solution that is suitable for you for example the given real time problem suppose uh, a real time uh, situation like uh, company uh, information can be given that will be taken as a real time situation and we have something called as data in it so what we can do is uh, we, we cannot able to solve the data uh, we cannot able to get the solution directly from the data so what we will do is we will convert that uh, situation into some problem that is said to be a problem statement for example if company produces two uh, products say a and b so we can take x1 as a product uh, a and x2 as a product b and based on the situation we will convert uh, that into a mathematical model and uh, why we need to convert a mathematical model is to solve it because uh, only the mathematical problem or a model we can solve it so after the mathematical model we can use some of the tools maybe it, it may be automated tools or man, manual tool or it may be an algorithm after applying the algorithm we will be getting a solution and we have to test the solution whether the solution is optimal or not or whether the solution is feasible or infeasible so if you have a optim if you have a optimal solution we can directly say that the given solution is optimal if the solution or if the problem has a multiple solution we have to select the best solution out of it after selecting the best solution we can come to the criteria or we can come to the uh, conclusion so situation is a hypothesis and at last we are getting the conclusion so the first thing will be the data formulation or the problem formulation then after creating a for problem formulation we have to model that using a mathematical model after collecting the data or after collecting the model we have to get the data and we have to analyze the data we have to implement some code and we have to fine tune that suppose if there is any uh, bug we have to fine tune that or if there is any bogus data we have to find fine tune that after finding uh, after after tuning the data we have to uh, perform some experiment after performing the experiment we will be getting some result we have to analyze it so these are the steps that are involved in uh, operation research or resource management technique so the success stories of or it's it can be used in strategic planning supply chain management pricing and revenue management logistics and site location optimization market research like other applications like scheduling portfolio inventory forecasting sales analysis auctioning and risk analysis and there are other numerous things uh, happening here so we'll be see, we'll be seeing some of the uh, important uh, examples or important re real time studies about this or so the british telecom used this or to schedule the work for because of implementing the or in their application they have saved uh, dollar 150 million in the year 1997 to 2000 so it is projected in future it is projected to save like dollar uh, 25 that is 250 million and uh, um, cs they have used or to create a vehicle routing and scheduling system so because of implementing their or in that they have saved 42 millions and ups uses or to uh, redesign its overnight delivery network and they have saved so these are the uh, real time datas or statistical data so that means we can use the operation research to minimize the uh cost of the project or the budget uh, to maximize the profit of the company thank you